In today's video, I'm going to show you how I replaced this linear actuator. The old one was really noisy. It would wake me up every morning, so I replaced it with a quieter one. This is controlling the tilt of my solar array. Just a heads up, you're going to hear the sound of the original actuator, so you might turn your volume down. This is the old 12 inch actuator. It moves six millimeters per second. And this is the new one, same length, but it travels five millimeters per second, slightly slower, but double the force. Lining the new one up with the old one, still in place. They're about the same size and shape. The mounting foot is slightly wider and the clevis pins are a little bit larger diameter on the new one. The new actuator came with new mounting brackets and the bolt pattern is the same, so I can just unbolt the old and bolt the new ones in place. I was just kind of winging it here. I didn't really have a plan. It might be better to have two people, one to hold the panel while someone else unbolts the actuator, but, but I managed to get it done on my own. Here I'm removing the mounting bracket for the actuator and installing the new one. You only need to remove one bolt and loosen the other because the mounting bracket has a slot on one of the mounting bolts. When the original EcoWorthy Solar Tracker wants to set the panel into a flat horizontal position, it simply runs the actuator for a fixed number of seconds from its end of travel limit. And because the new actuator runs five millimeters instead of six millimeters per second, that flat horizontal position might be slightly off. This is the difference in pin size. The larger actuator has a larger diameter pin. Here I'm just wiring up the actuator to my home-built controller. I'm using an Arduino. I have another video on that if you're interested. I'll put a link down below. The motor is actually running right now. You can barely hear it. Well, thanks for tuning in. If you have an eco-worthy solar tracker, definitely a worthwhile upgrade. The sound from the old actuator was just driving me nuts. And be sure to check out my other video on the solar tracker controller that I built. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And thanks again for watching.